Fish oil lowers triglyceride levels in the blood to improve cardiovascular health. In this mnemonic video, we'll cover the important facts about fish oil, so you'll be ready come test day. It's early morning in the restaurant, and the whole kitchen is preparing for meal service. Due to unforeseen circumstances, we've run out of normal cooking oil. As the head chef, I've decided to solve this problem by squeezing the oil out of the fish oil supplements that I take every morning. This fish oil will serve as your memory anchor to, well, fish oil. Let's begin by discussing the key active ingredient in fish oil, as well as how fish oil is used in the clinical setting. To keep things organized, we've clustered the symbols for these facts in the foreground. Notice how the bottle of fish oil comes with a label that shows how it's rich in omega-3 fatty acids. If you need an additional memory hook for the number three, notice how the fish on the bottle is being speared by a trident with three prongs. We've even stylized the three in omega-3 so that it looks like the trident. This should help you remember that fish oil contains omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids are the primary active ingredient in fish oil and are responsible for most of its health benefits. Next to the bottle of fish oil, you'll see my breakfast cereal that I usually eat with my fish oil supplement every morning. As a stressed chef who eats a lot of unhealthy food at work, I try to compensate by eating cereal with this lipid-lowering sticker. These whole grain cereals are always advertising how they are heart healthy by lowering cholesterol, right? This should help you remember how fish oil works as a lipid-lowering drug. As a reminder, lipids are fat molecules that circulate in the blood. Lipids have important functions in the body, but when circulating levels get too high, it creates a clinical condition known as hyperlipidemia, which increases the risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Fish oil treats hyperlipidemia by lowering the levels of circulating lipids. Next, let's discuss the mechanisms behind how fish oil works in the body. To keep things organized, we've clustered these symbols in the background towards the left side. A woman is at the back door trying to deliver a box of fatty acid branded salad dressing. The fatty acid dressing is branded this way since it contains fat in the form of oil as well as acid in the form of lemons. You can use this fatty acid dressing to remind yourself of fatty acids. What's more, this shipment of fatty acid dressing is being delivered for free. Since restaurants like ours order a lot of dressing in bulk, salad dressing manufacturers often send us free samples of their newest products. The free fatty acid dressing symbolizes free fatty acids, referring to fatty acid molecules that circulate independently without being bound to other molecules like glycerol. It's really early in the morning, so our delivery door is still closed. The delivery woman is trying unsuccessfully to reach the lever that opens the delivery door. The lever is our recurring symbol for the liver. We've even made it liver-shaped to hammer home this connection. So this delivery woman being blocked from reaching the lever represents how fish oil blocks the delivery of free fatty acids to the liver. The liver normally takes free fatty acids from the circulation and uses them to synthesize lipids like triglycerides. We'll cover the consequences of blocking the delivery of free fatty acids in our next symbol. Back inside the kitchen, we can see why no one has noticed the delivery outside. The machine that normally makes the cooking oil is broken and the kitchen staff are panicking. This machine normally puts the oil into a set of three glass bottles. You might even call this a tri-glass of oil. This tri-glass of oil should help you remember triglycerides, since tri-glass sounds like triglycerides, and triglycerides are a type of fat, kind of like the oil in these bottles. So this machine responsible for the synthesis of the tri-glass oil should remind you of triglyceride synthesis. All the chefs are stressed because the machine is broken. You could even say that its tri-glass oil synthesis has decreased. This should help you remember how fish oil decreases triglyceride synthesis. As we discussed earlier, the liver uses free fatty acids to synthesize triglycerides. By blocking the delivery of free fatty acids to the liver, fish oil inhibits the production of new triglycerides, thereby lowering triglyceride levels. With the mechanisms out of the way, let's cover the changes in lab results that might be seen in a patient taking fish oil. To keep things organized, we've clustered the symbols for these facts in the middle of the scene. Since our kitchen has decided to cook with fish oil, I brought out all my spare bottles and put them on this kitchen cart along with our last tri glass of oil. The large amount of fish oil on this cart should help you remember high doses of fish oil. A chef accidentally bumped into the fish oil on this cart, causing the tri-glass of oil to fall to the floor. 
The falling triglass oil bottles should help you remember a fall in triglyceride levels. Putting this together, the large amount of fish oil causing the triglass oil to fall symbolizes how high doses of fish oil cause a decrease in triglyceride levels. This matters clinically because high triglyceride levels are a risk factor for heart disease, so fish oil's ability to lower triglyceride levels is beneficial for cardiovascular health. This is the most important effect of taking fish oil and one of the main reasons why fish oil might be prescribed. In addition, while many people take small doses of fish oil as a daily supplement, the therapeutic effect of lowering triglyceride levels is typically observed when fish oil is taken at higher doses, ranging from twice to four times the amount found in most daily supplements. It should make sense that you need higher doses for fish oil to function as a therapeutic drug as opposed to just a daily supplement. The chef who bumped into the cart is raising a huddle sign into the air. She thinks it's unsafe to cook using fish oil, and to share her concerns, she's decided to ask the kitchen team to huddle up. By the way, huddle is our recurring symbol for HDL, since the letters HD and L are found in huddle, right? HDL technically stands for high-density lipoprotein, a type of cholesterol carrier in the blood. That said, this long name is not very important, and for most purposes, you only need to remember the abbreviation HDL. If it helps, people also tend to think of HDL cholesterol as being good cholesterol due to its good effects on cardiovascular health. The chef is a young junior member of the kitchen and she's afraid her concerns will make the older chefs angry. That's why she's only slightly raising the huddle sign into the air. This is our symbol for how fish oil slightly raises HDL levels. While the mechanisms here are unclear, the reduction in free fatty acid delivery to the liver may stimulate an increase in HDL. That said, this change in HDL levels is quite small and may not even be noticeable in the labs of some patients. Whenever a chef raises the huddle sign, all the chefs in the kitchen have to stop and show their food for inspection. The soup chef is raising a ladle for taste testing. A ladle is our recurring symbol for LDL since the letters LDL are found in ladle. LDL actually stands for low-density lipoprotein, a type of cholesterol carrier in the blood. Once again, the long name here is not very important. You really only need to remember the abbreviation LDL for your exams. LDL is also informally called bad cholesterol due to its bad effects on cardiovascular health. The soup chef is really nervous his soup will taste bad since he used fish oil instead of normal oil for the recipe. This is why he's only slightly raising the ladle out of the soup as if he's hoping the other chefs won't notice and will skip trying his soup. Slightly raising a ladle should help you remember how fish oil slightly raises LDL levels in lab testing. The mechanism behind why this happens is unclear, but historical research has shown that taking fish oil is associated with a slight increase in LDL cholesterol levels. That said, this change in LDL levels is quite small and is often not noticeable. Finally, let's talk about some side effects that some patients can experience while taking fish oil. To keep things organized, we've clustered these symbols towards the far right of the scene. The restaurant waitstaff has arrived to join the huddle and taste the food. However, the food cooked with the fish oil is really disgusting, and this waiter immediately felt nauseous after trying the soup. This should help you remember how fish oil can cause nausea as a side effect. Fish oil can sometimes lead to nausea and other symptoms of GI upset due to its high fat content. While nausea is the most common GI symptom, other symptoms like diarrhea, bloating, gas, or indigestion may also be observed. To minimize GI side effects, it's recommended to start with smaller doses of fish oil and to take it with meals. The reason this waiter felt nauseous is pretty obvious. The fish oil has made all the food taste overwhelmingly fishy. This fish-like taste of the food should help you remember that fish oil unsurprisingly has a fish-like taste. Patients may also complain of fishy burps or aftertaste. This is problematic because the unpleasant taste can lead to poor compliance with taking the medication. Some patients manage this by taking fish oil with meals or freezing the pills before ingestion. All right, that's all for this mnemonic. Let's recap. Fish oil contains omega-3 fatty acids and is used as a lipid-lowering drug to treat hyperlipidemia. Fish oil works by decreasing free fatty acid delivery to the liver, which decreases triglyceride synthesis in the body. On laboratory testing, patients may experience a fall in triglyceride levels when fish oil is taken at high doses. Patients may also experience a slight rise in HDL levels and a slight rise in LDL levels. Side effects of fish oil include nausea and other symptoms of GI upset. 
Patients may also complain of fish oil having a fish-like taste. Now we're actually done with fish oil. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel and check out our newest lessons. For more resources on this topic, including fact lists and interactive review images, click the image next to the More Here arrow. I'll see you next time.